Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these uh, these planter boxes. You can lean them up against just about anywhere. I've got them leaning up against my house. This is a south facing wall, it gets really hot, lots of sun, so it's really good. Um, I'm also gonna talk a little bit in this video about uh, the bed desk plans and uh, a really cool guy. <laughs> I don't know how to, how to describe him as, other than to say that this guy is, he's got some persistence. So I've got this wall in my house and it's uh, on the side of my house. It's set, totally south facing. It gets really hot in the summer. So hot sometimes you can't even really, you can't even touch it. It's uh, early in the morning so the sun hasn't quite had time to, to warm this up. But I'm telling you, it gets like, you know, 40, 50 degrees Celsius. It gets really, really hot. I thought of different ways that I could come up with to shade this or to cool it. I thought about, you know, running some water lines and running water and just kind of cooling it. And I thought, well, if it's sunny, plants like sun, I built these planter boxes. And these are basically sun shades. You can see right now it actually shades most of it. And then I'm gonna put some plants in there, fill them up with dirt. I think it's a pretty good solution. For this project, I'm gonna use my table saw, a miter saw. Uh, I'm gonna use this level and straight edge, tape measure, stapler, some screws, uh, my PPE, some clamps, a circular saw. Oh yeah, my drill. Also use 15 uh, one by six fence boards and two uh, five quarter by eight feet. To start off with, I set my table saw blade to a 15 degree bevel and then raise the blade in order to cut the fence boards. This is for the bottom, so each bottom I cut a 15 degree bevel off both sides. So I cut one side first on all five boards, flip the boards around and then uh, re reposition the fence and cut a little bit off to make this into more of a trapezoidal shape to accept and fit in between uh, the two sides. There you can see sort of the shape of uh, how it looks, so it's a trapezoid and there, there's the original fence board and I've got five of these cut for five planters. Now for the sides, I basically did the same thing, but instead of doing both sides, I actually just did one. And you can see basically how it fits together, everything just fits right in there and 15 degrees on the bottom and on the sides. Now for the ends of the planter boxes, I took, went over to my miter saw and uh, measured the bottom, the top of the bottom and uh, I found that to be five inches so I cut each one of these uh, side pieces to five inches on the bottom with 15 degrees on both sides. You can see this 15 degrees sort of works out just about everywhere. Cut that to 15 degrees. Now one thing I found is this end piece was actually about three quarters of an inch too tall. So I'd had to take three quarters of an inch off and then uh, a little bit off the side to make it fit. And instead of doing this, you know, 10 times over, I decided to just take three quarters of an inch off the fence boards that I'm using to make the sides. And uh, because I'm doing about 10 of these, um, I actually made a jig. So instead of having to measure cut, measure cut, I just set up a jig and uh, now I can just place the fence board in there, make the cut, flip it over, make another cut. And it turned uh, sort of a 10 minute job into about 30 seconds. There we go, with everything cut, ready to move on to the assembly process. So to assemble, I stapled everything together using my pneumatic stapler. Um, so I just held everything together and then uh, put the staples in there. Be careful, obviously, not to you know have a staple come flying at your face. Make sure you're wearing your PPE and uh, and wash your hands as well. I will note that I think there was a bit of an error on my part in this stapling process. I probably should have, or I think I should have taken the ends instead of fitting them between the sides and the bottom. I should have put them um, on the ends. So stapling the ends outside of everything to hold everything together better and I'll show you at the end of the video why that would have been preferable so basically three staples on the bottom three staples on the sides and then stapled all along the bottom of the planter after assembling all five of them I noticed that there were a couple that were um, had some protrusions um, this is nominal lumber so you know from Home Depot not everything's gonna be perfect so I just took the circular saw and trimmed off those pieces to make them flush here we go, there's all five assembled. Now back over the table saw, sorry, back over the miter saw, I cut a 15 degree bevel off the bottom. And again, on the other side of the five quarter by eight. Now I needed 15 degrees on the top, so I just took a, uh, an off cut and I just scribed this, um, this angle onto the five quarter board at the top and continued that along with a straight edge. Now using my circular saw, I simply just cut this off. And I took the one that I just cut and I put it on top of my, my next board. And again, I just traced that on there and using my circular saw, I just cut that as well. 
Now to assemble the planters, I simply just took them over to the area that I'm going to be installing the, uh, the planters in, lean them up against the wall. I used some offcuts um, from the process and I just placed them sort of underneath uh, where the first planter box is going to go just to hold it off the ground about half an inch. Planter box I just basically lined up with the side and, uh, and stapled into place using the pneumatic stapler. So three staples on each side. For the next level, I just simply measured up to where I wanted to have the next planter. I uh, drew a level line using a level and then using some clamps and, clamps and offcuts. I just uh, held everything in place and then I was able to put the, uh, the next box in place and staple it very easily. I think even if you did have a helping hand with this, this would probably be the easiest way to go. Everything was able to stay very rigid and, um, and stable. Everything was, was level. And so with all five boxes in place, I decided that it'd be best to put some screws on the side just for a little bit of extra strength. Um, so I put two screws on each side of each box. Now using some welded wire mesh to, as a trellis, I, because I am putting peas at the bottom, they need something to grow up. I took this welded wire mesh and I uh, simply just stapled it to the sides. It was a bit tricky putting the welded mesh in place, but I think it's gonna work pretty well. All right, so next I went to the garden center, about 116 liters of, uh, of potting soil, and this is exactly what you need in order to fill up these boxes. I I'm pretty happy with how everything just sort of worked out. You know, everything was 15 degrees, and the planter boxes, I was able to fill them up with, with one, one container of soil. Now, one thing I will mention is, like I said, I probably should have put the put the ends on the ends instead of uh, inside everything and you can see that the wood did swell and warp. Um, I came back and screwed them back into place. I, I tried pre-drilling the holes to see if it would stop the wood from splitting but everything was just too close to the ends and, and I got some splits. So that's, uh, I'm, I'm a bit upset with myself for not, not figuring that out beforehand. One thing I should mention too is that if you're going to be making these planter boxes for herbs or, or tomatoes or something like I have here, um, I would definitely recommend not making this out of pressure treated lumber. You don't want to have any chemicals going into your food or impacting the ability for your plants to grow. So that's why I chose, I chose cedar. So I'm going to just take a second and I'm going to talk about this, uh, this bed desk that I built. Um, basically all it is is a Murphy bed with a, with a freestanding desk and you can see you leave everything on the desk like this and uh, when you put it away it's ready to be used. Then when you want to go to bed you just bring it back down. So anyway it works pretty well but the uh, the other reason that I brought you in here because I want is because I wanted to talk about Andy. So Andy is a guy who uh, when he was a young kid I think he was about six he said he lost both his arms in a, in a farming accident and he's been operating a farm um, basically on his own obviously with helpers but you should see this guy. Like he, here he is. He's lying on his back, trying to put the uh, drive shaft of an auger uh, and, and attach that onto onto his tractor. And I don't know if you've ever done that before, but that's not easy to do with two hands. And this guy is doing it on his own with his with his feet. He can adjust crescent wrenches. He can drive a truck. He can do everything. He does not know the word can't. Um, I've been demonetized by by YouTube, so I don't make any money off these videos. I do them basically sort of for fun, and uh, but I do sell the plans for this desk bed. Now, instead of taking the money and using it all for myself and for my own projects, I do take a portion of that money and I donate that money to fellow YouTubers. And this month, all the money that I make off every single one of the plans that I sell in the month of June 2018 are going to be going to Andy. So, you know, if you want to find a way to um, contribute to a guy who's making incredible videos and, uh, and is a pretty incredible human being while getting something for yourself, this might be the way to do it. Um, the plans are just that. They're plans. They're not instructions. They, uh, they're fairly easy to, to understand if you have some woodworking experience. So um, I'll put the link for the, uh, the plans in the description. We'll also link Andy's channel in this, in this video. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Uh, you can consider subscribing. I'm hoping to get, you know, maybe around 10,000 subscribers at some point, and then I'll consider making a how-to video um, for this for this desk build. I built this bed once before. This is the prototype. This is the only one I've built. I would like to have the opportunity to build um, a single bed, 
and, uh, and, and film that process. So if you guys are interested in that, you know, subscribe, follow the, the channel, and, uh, and that's something that I'll probably be doing in the future. But uh, for now, thanks very much for taking uh, the time to watch this video. And uh, again, please go check out Andy's channel. He's the harmless farmer. Come on.